What is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We currently have a goal of 750 subscribers, and we are sitting at around 550. So guys, if you haven't already, and you enjoy what I do here on the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, drop a like on this video. It definitely helps out a lot and shows me that you guys enjoy the content that I am putting out. Uh, guys, today I have a very important video for you all. Uh, we're going to talk about buying hot toys in 2022. Things are changing. Certainly things are changing, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed it. Some newer collectors may not be aware of what is going on, so we're going to share all of that with you guys today. We have talked about it numerous times in the live streams, but this is kind of a general video for people searching on YouTube, trying to learn how to navigate the secondary market and or navigate their way through the hobby and learn how to buy figures and where to buy them from. So I'm going to give you guys a couple examples. I'm going to show you how I do things, and I'm going to kind of explain how I make my way through the Hot Toys universe. Also, guys, if you haven't noticed already, I'm just about done getting my displays together back here. You can see behind me, it's a whole new look. So if you haven't been on the live streams yet, you wouldn't have seen it. But yes... I am nearly done the remodel, as I'm calling it, of my collection room, my collection room 2.0. Of course, I'll be doing a video of that, but that is for a later time. Sorry about all the figures on my desk. Those are being moved to the basement display, but I haven't gotten to it yet because I'm still in that process. But let's get right into it, guys. First, I want to start off going on Sideshow because Sideshow is a place where a lot of us in the U.S. buy from. I do buy from Sideshow a lot. That is my main place that I buy from, but also, of course, I buy from Collector Zone and many other places in the U.S., here and there depending on what the better deal is but uh let's hop right into it so guys uh right off the bat you could see we see a buy one get one free being advertised and this has been going on since uh november of this year uh guys this is something different uh for those of you that are new or even if you're not new this is not normal we don't see buy one get one half offs for hot toys very often the reason sideshow is doing this is a lot of us think including myself that uh, they're just tired of sitting on stock. I mean, think about it. If you're a business, I think you're going to be tired of buying stuff over and over again, overstocking. People aren't buying it. You're having to drop the price by 20, 30, 50%. They're also running daily deals. So if you check up here, there's usually a bar up here that tells you there's daily deals going on. You click on that and they do rotate them out every day and it's always different stuff. A lot of times good stuff. And of course, Sideshow does carry things other than just hot toys. So you can purchase statues. Uh, vinyl figures, whatever you want. Sideshow typically has it when it comes to high-end collectibles. Uh, but but yeah, guys, so you could see, I mean, we'll filter by hot toys here just because we're talking about six-scale stuff today. Uh, but of course, if you buy 3-0, Iconic, Damn Toys, any of those brands, they'll be on here as well. Uh, it just depends on uh, what is in the in-stock phase currently on Sideshow. Uh, typically, the Deals like this aren't for pre-order items because obviously they're giving us a deal because they want to move the stock. And if it's on pre-order, the stock is not in their warehouse yet because they're still waiting on that. All right, so let's filter by Hot Toys so we can kind of take a look at everything that's on the buy one, get one 50% off right now. Now, keep in mind with this uh, promotion, guys, you cannot use payment plans, so you will have to shell out all the money up front. Now, one of the things I want to tell you guys is just because you see buy one, get one 50% off, it may not always make sense. Now, the reason I say that is because the, the current state of the secondary market is so bad for sellers, a lot of this stuff is well below retail in the secondary market. Perfect example, our Endgame Captain America here, an absolutely beautiful figure, fantastic figure, definitive Captain America for a lot of people. This figure on the secondary market recently, I've seen $180 to $220 in that range very frequently. It's not hard to find that deal. Now, guys, when I talk about where I'm finding these deals, I'm going to mention that a little bit later in the video. But typically when I speak about pricing, I'm talking about Facebook marketplace, Facebook group pricing, because that's where a lot of us in this hobby purchase items from. eBay, we're going to talk about eBay, but I just want to mention that when I talk about secondary market pricing, I'm referring to what you can purchase it on Facebook for, okay? So again, perfect example. That's a figure that's very cheap. So you really have to make it worth your while. Another one, the Death Watch Mandalorian. You can get him for sub $200 on Facebook. So when you look at a lot of these figures, it really has to make sense. Like me personally, if I'm looking to get a deal on a buy one, get one, I would include things like the bat pod. Now the bat pod, of course, the reason it still kind of holds some value on the secondary market is because it's kind of expensive to ship because it's a big package, but also even with this one, you can get it for less than retail right now. So it really has to be figures that make a lot of sense for you. To be honest with you, a lot of the good deals have dried up Endgame Thor, another good example that one can be purchased for around $200 pretty easily. Actually, Sideshow did a 30% off for him 
and you could get him through Sideshow for that price. So uh, definitely have to choose wisely with a lot of these figures because, again, a lot of these figures sell for less than retail already. But with that being said, if you choose wisely, some of these BOGO deals will make a lot of sense for you. Again, it just sucks that a lot of the figures have kind of dried up at this point. But the most important thing that you want to do is kind of do the math Take a look at Facebook, see what these figures are going for, go in these groups, search up certain figures and kind of see what they're selling for. That way you can make an educated decision on uh, taking advantage of this BOGO. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about the BOGO. Again, just do the math before you go and jump in. When you see the buy one, get one 50% off, your first instinct is like, oh, that's a great deal. Let me see what I can get. But of course, always check Facebook first. Now, if you're someone who wants to have new figures only, this may be your best option. But me personally, as long as it's bought from a real collector who takes care of their stuff, I'm not worried about it being opened or used. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about the buy one, get one, guys. Also, we'll click on the daily deal so you can get an idea of what that is. It doesn't look like there are any hot toys. We actually have one six-scale figure, uh, Ramses the Great. Uh, I guess that's a Fison collaboration figure. That's what that looks like. Um, but no hot toys on there today. Uh, next, guys, I kind of want to take a look at the Last Chance page because that is kind of the big topic of discussion right now. All right, guys, here we are on the Last Chance page. Now, I really wanted to talk about this because this is like a big topic of discussion right now. And this is kind of like the biggest sign of the market possibly making a shift towards something different than we're not used to. Um, but what the Last Chance page is, guys, for those that don't know, is this is Sideshow basically telling us that, there, that an item that is either in stock and or on pre-order is low in stock. So when it comes to pre-orders, this is Sideshow telling us that their pre-order allotment is getting towards its end and they're about to cut it off. So you got to get your order in. Now, of course, there's a big debate about this. A lot of people are, are like, oh, well, they're just faking out. This is a game they're playing. Guys, I really don't know why they'd be playing a game with us. If you go back to one of Sideshow streams from, I believe, October or November, uh, the gentleman they call Bossy Boss, his name is Chris. He's the head of marketing at Sideshow as well as some other employees that are higher up in the totem pole at Sideshow. They are on video saying that if you don't pre-order things anymore, you're going to miss out. So the best that we can do as an educated collector is to at least keep an eye on that. I'm not telling you guys to go and run and pre-order stuff, but me personally, if it's a figure that I really want and I don't want to risk missing out on it, I'm going to put in the pre-order. Now, obviously things have changed because we're in the era of deals right now. We're slowly moving our way out of that, but that was before, guys. This is now. A lot of collectors have kind of jumped ship. Sideshow is realizing they're sitting on all this stock, and they're like, what do we do? Well, let's do what a lot of other companies do. Let's cut off our pre-orders. Because, guys, this isn't anything new. A lot of these limited edition statues are numbered, for example. And once that number is out, that's it. So Sideshow is probably thinking, you know what? Let's start cutting off these pre-orders. Now, guys, the thing that is really uncertain that no one can say for sure is what's going to happen after the figure is released. Obviously, we're currently talking about the pre-order phase, but what's going to happen when the figure is released? Are they just going to start converting the wait list after they get some cancellations on these figures? Are they going to get a small batch of figures after all of the pre-orders are fulfilled? We don't know. We truly don't know. But again, for me personally, if it's stuff I really want, I'm going to drop the pre-order. I hate to have to continue to drop pre-orders, but I'm still being smart about it and pre-ordering within my means. But again, if it's something I really want, I'm going to drop the pre-order. Of course, guys, there are other options. So if it goes waitlist with Sideshow, you still have a chance with many other retailers in the U.S. Off the Racks, Collector's Own, Marcos, fantastic. There's plenty of different websites you can purchase from. So definitely look around if something gets waitlisted on Sideshow. Big Bad Toy Store as well. Definitely look around. You have other options. Uh, trust me. Um, or you could just hop on the waitlist. Some of these other figures that have gone to waitlist early, like Peacemaker, the Bark Speeder, classic loki we have seen waitlist conversions for them so people are able to get their pre-order in so definitely keep an eye on that because your waitlist will most likely convert if you get on it immediately again we don't know what the future holds but that's the best advice i could give you on that um now let's filter by hot toys guys just so we can kind of see the type of stuff that is currently on the last chance page now perfect example guys like this homemade suit spider-man very easily on facebook facebook marketplace you can get this guy for 180 dollars He's been on here for at least a week, I believe. So there's a reason he's sitting on there. And again, he is in the buy one, get one, but you kind of have to make it make sense depending on what you're buying, you know? The Mark L, you could get that for $250 to $280 very easily. So 
again, you have to make it make sense, guys. Just because it's on last chance, I wouldn't rush and grab it for retail from Sideshow because it may not make sense to do that. You know, you can save yourself money by buying it on the secondary market. Also, guys, one final thing about Sideshow that can help you save some money is you do get rewards for not only referring a friend. Every time you refer a new friend, you do get a percentage back once their order ships and 40 days are surpassed. Or if you make a purchase, once you wait 40 days after it is shipped and you do not return it, you will also get rewards points for that order. Also, you will see Sideshow sending out emails for thanks coupons, as we like to call them. Those are usually good for pre-orders and you can get yourself $20 off. Also, Sideshow does offer the ID Me 15% discount for medical professionals, teachers, and active or former military. So definitely take advantage of that if you fit under that category. That's about it for Sideshow, guys. We're going to move on to a site that uh, a lot of people are kind of afraid to take a look at. And for, for good reason, uh, but it's not too scary once you kind of learn how everything works. So scared that a lot of people call it Evil Bay, but guys, we are on eBay now. Now, of course, guys, eBay sellers are notorious for overcharging for figures, but this is why I wanted to hop onto eBay. Uh, I decided I'm going to use the Hot Toys Count Dooku figure as an example. So we're going to search up Hot Toys Count Dooku. Sorry for the clicking. I have a very clicky keyboard. Now, here is the most important thing with eBay, the absolute most important thing. When you first search up Hot Toys Count Dooku, for example, these listings are not the sold price listings. So when you see these listings, these are, these are what the items are listed at. So it's very important that you scroll down here through all the fluff and you'll see down here sold items. And we wanna click sold items so we show the sold items, right? Now I'm gonna say this right now. On Facebook, probably three days ago, I saw Count Dooku sell for $350. Now of course that includes shipping and any PayPal fees associated. Typically, he sells for about $350 to $375 on average. Now, when we look at our eBay listings, guys, first sold listing, most recent one, $369, $69 shipping, way over what you would pay on Facebook. $400, buy it now, free shipping. A decent amount over what you would pay for shipping, because keep in mind, guys, with eBay, also, you are paying taxes. Scroll it down even more, $389. That's not too bad, but again, you are paying taxes, so that $389 ends up being over $400. $349, $72 shipping. Now, guys, another thing you have to be very careful for with eBay is a lot of these sellers tend to sneak in like extra costs with the shipping. And I'm not saying they all do it that way, but when you see a, a seller charging $99, $100, $200 for shipping, they're doing that because they're trying to bait you into purchasing it because you see that, oh, $350, that's a good deal. I've seen plenty of people that say they had to try to cancel their order because they didn't realize the shipping was so expensive. So that's kind of a a bait and switch tactic I've seen on eBay. So be careful with that. Another one here, guys, 648 free shipping, 470 free shipping. Some of these listings where you see 648 and super high prices, some of them are sellers kind of buying their own listings to inflate pricing. But Tim Cent is notorious on eBay and he's been selling for a long time. So I believe that this one's probably real. But again, guys, you can see what I'm talking about. You need to be smart with this. Don't run to eBay. There's always a better deal out there as long as you are patient. It's very, very important to be patient. Now, guys, part of the reason these eBay listings are so inflated is because the seller fees are pretty crazy on eBay. For example, I sold my extra Infinity War Thor last year. I believe I sold them for around $245, and I got charged like $33 in seller's fees. So because of that, you can imagine these sellers are really inflating the prices to account for that. But then you as a buyer pay for that, essentially, you know, they're inflating the price. Therefore, you as a buyer are kind of covering that difference for the seller for those seller's fees. So we don't want to do that. We want to go straight to Facebook and purchase from there. Um, so we're going to hop on over to Facebook, guys. So this is a group I highly recommend. This is a group that I've made many friends from, gotten a lot of good deals from. Uh, this is 1-6 Republic BST or 1-6 Republic Buy Sell Trade. I highly recommend looking for deals on here. There's a lot of great honest sellers on here with good feedback and there's a lot of great buyers as well. I am not affiliated with them whatsoever. I just have had a great experience in this group. So definitely join this group if you want to find some good deals and avoid all that eBay BS. So guys, you could see it's basically just a bunch of people, fellow collectors listing their items as you would see on any selling site. Again, you do still have to navigate through the deals. Some people still list off for eBay prices, and typically uh, a lot of people aren't too kind about that, but uh, that's just collectors. That's how they are, you know, but navigate through here. You can see there's a bunch of different stuff listed, but this is where I recommend starting, especially if you're new. 
create a Facebook account, even if it's just to buy hot toys, create a Facebook account, hop into these groups. Some other groups that are notable, Tashi Station, Hot Toys, Not Toys. I will list some of these in the description to make it easier for you guys to join. But again, this is the route I would go. Better safe than sorry. Also, guys, another thing that has helped me a lot, instead of navigating through and trying to find someone selling what I'm looking for, make your own post. Say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Please reach out to me if you have one available. And then you kind of negotiate price that way. Guys, there's always a better deal out there. And I know a lot of you guys see these prices for like Yondu, A New Hope, Obi-Wan. And you're like, there's no way I can get a deal on that. But guys, trust me, if you knew some of the deals I got on some of the stuff in my collection, you would definitely be a believer. And there's plenty of other uh, collectors, especially in my Discord, that, that can attest that we all try to help each other find deals and such. And the deals are definitely out there. Especially now when the secondary market's kind of at a low. It makes finding these grails a little bit easier. Also, it's right before Christmas, so some people are selling their figures to fund gifts and such like that. So if you have the money, you can definitely take advantage of some really good deals. All right, but that about wraps up what I have to say in this video. Again, guys, key takeaways. Be patient. It's very important to be patient. When you are making a purchase, especially in the secondary market, you kind of want to put out feeler posts and kind of look around and see what the best deal is you could find. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing that. There's nothing wrong with searching for better deals. There are always better deals out there, so definitely keep that in mind. Guys, when buying retail, again, be smart about it. Try to use your rewards. Try to use coupon. Compare pricing from Sideshow and other retailers to what you're seeing on the secondary market because, again, we saw the homemade suit Spider-Man. Again, that figure sells for like 180 200 bucks. You see them for 267 plus shipping. It kind of adds up, and you're like, why would I buy it from there when I could just get it from somebody who's selling it cheap, you know? Now, again, the, the market is shifting, though. It seems like this it's making a shift. A lot of these newer pre-orders are only lasting about six months. So you have to keep an eye on it. Don't just assume that this is some sort of fake out or conspiracy theory from Sideshow. Make your own decision based on what you're seeing. Again, me personally, I am making my decision to drop pre-orders and the figures that are very important to me. Some of the ones that I, I want but are not on the top of my list, I'm willing to kind of take a chance and see if my wait list will convert. But especially this Attack of the Clones Wave 1 line that just all went to wait list. I didn't play around with those because, guys, you know I'm a huge Star Wars fan. You can see behind me all the Star Wars figures I have. So I had to make the pre-orders on those for my personal collection because I didn't want to miss out and I didn't want to take any chances. We're just going to have to wait and see. We have to navigate this together. Pay attention. Don't just count it out as some sort of conspiracy theory because we don't know what's going to happen. No matter what side of the conversation you're on, you definitely have to be very careful and tread lightly because it looks like things are changing. Uh, but, of course, that remains to be seen. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's something a bit different. I want to stray away from doing just reviews. I want to do some informative stuff. Of course, you guys are loving the live streams, and we really do appreciate you. Uh, it's crazy the amount of support that we're getting on the live streams. And guys, it's a crazy amount of support that I got this year on this channel. I'm very, very grateful. And I know I say this a lot, and you're probably like, just shut up already. But truly, I am very grateful uh, to be where I'm at. 550 subscribers before the end of the year is absolutely incredible and mind-blowing. I would have never expected that. So thank you so much, guys. I hope this helps. Of course, I could not cover every selling website like Mercari and things like that because I wanted to keep the video as short as I possibly could. So help your fellow collectors out. If you have any other tips, definitely drop them down in the comments below. Thank you so much, guys, for being so patient with me with the collection room. I know I've been putting out less content, but we're about back on track, so it's time to get back into it. Have a great night, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.